Budget magic time. Mono red. Madness. Ugh. That's a lot of lands. Well, the good news is we got our <laughs> insolent neonate. Can't believe I'm so happy to have that card in my hand. So we can play it on turn one, turn two, discard the blood mad vampire to draw another card. So that kind of helps. Not true card advantage, but still sort of. I mean, I guess it's card advantage. Not like Ancestral Recall or something, but we'll make do with our Insolent Neonate. The Red Ancestral Recall. Oh, Lord. Pitches the Drowned Yard Temple to Magmatic Insight. Another land is very much not what we were hoping for. Well, let's get in for one. Play a Mountain Goo. Maybe I should have shipped this. If we just draw one out of the next two cards, our lands, we're in really bad shape. Tormenting Voice, discarding a World Breaker. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Discard our Blood Mad Vampire, Madness it. Hopefully draw a non-land card, please. And Krogable Use, ooh, Pian Karen. The only thing with this deck is they probably have Kozlik's Return, which can be pretty bad for us. If this lives and we get in one more attack, then we're in pretty good shape. Otherwise, we're like playing P and Karen Nalar and getting our board wiped. Ugh. Against Ramp, we just basically have to race. If they get to their big things, we aren't winning. That's the long and short of it. Tap land. Ooh, man. Are we really going to get in another hit? Avacyn's Judgment. All right, let's play the land. Get in with our Blood Mad Vampire. Yes, yes. Oh, and that gives us protection from a Kozlik's Return. P and Karen Nalar. So now we actually just have lethal next turn if our opponent doesn't have something good. Alright, Kozlik's Return, but it doesn't get our Blood Mad Vampire, so we actually still just win. We just incurable use and attack for lethal. Oh! Our flood out hand actually worked well. Ended up with a turn five kill. <laughs> Sweet. Tag with both. And that's a zero. Wow. That was unexpected. I didn't think... Eh, I wasn't sure about that one. Well, we definitely want some things in specific. Gold Knight Castigator seems very good in this matchup. Malevolent whispers to steal our opponent's big things and possibly uncaged fury let's move these into the proper converted mana cost section their madness cost since it's our plan uh what are we getting rid of things that get wrecked by kozlik's return seem bad which would be like p and karen Nalar, skin invasion eh, maybe we can probably cut fiery impulses and Lava Axes, maybe not Avacyn's Judgment. Maybe we keep Pian Karen. I think that if this is a Goggles Ramp deck, which it looks like, then they uh, shouldn't be having any two drops. We gotta be aggro, that much is for certain. All right, let's, let's uh, try it like this, I think. Well, Pian Karen. Fiery Temper is good because it is fine, I guess, because it can go to our opponent's face. We're missing one. Oh, there it is. We just got to be aggressive in this matchup. Berserker. Skin Invasion isn't that aggressive. Let's go down Skin Invasion, go up PN Karen. Actually, let's go down... Oh, do we want another Avacyn's Judgment? Let's just try it like this. Let's try it like that. Uh, sure. This hand looks reasonable. Kind of gets blown out by Kozlik's Return, but... A lot of our deck gets blown out by Kozlik's Return, so we can't just keep, not keep any hand that's bad against Kozlik's Return. We just gotta kinda hope that we don't get hit by it. Game Trail untapped. I guess why not? Uh, let's just lead on Insulate Neonate, because we can actually dash Zergo next turn if we want to. And we might if we don't draw anything else. Traverse the Uvenwald. Gets a mountain. Plays a mountain. 
Uh, let's see what we draw. Ooh. Blood Mad Vampire, A. Eh? Well, let's just attack with Insolent Neonate. And now we might just try to get the Blood Mad Vampire down. One way to win this game is Blood Mad plus Uncaged Fury to hit for a ton of damage out of nowhere. The only thing is, we do risk the Kozlik's Return blowing us out. Can we afford to not do it? I think we gotta do it. Discard Blood Mad. Madness it. Draw a card, Sin Prodder. Well, I think that's a reason to not dash Zergo. So let's just attack, see if they can Kozilex return. Well, they have Fiery Impulse, all right. Well, in that case, let's just play a Sin Prodder past the turn. Our opponent's down to four cards, and we know one of those is a forest. They might still be slow rolling a Kozlik's return, though. Uh, what is this? Nissus Pilgrimage for some ramp. Alright. They might be working up to goggles here. We were on the draw this time, too, which makes a difference. Our opponent's hand has to be mostly lands. All right, Sin Prodder, give us some love. Reveals a mountain, which our opponent will mill, or should mill. Interesting. Lots of options here. Let's go land, attack with Sin Prodder. Revenous Bloodseeker. Zergo. Revenous Bloodseeker survives a Kozlik's return, which is nice. And we can kind of slow roll this Gold Knight Castigator to maybe steal a win. Opponent's up to six mana. Is it Goggles time? That's the thing. Their hand is very land heavy based on what we've seen, but Goggles plus a Tormenting Voice or Magmatic Insight makes their hand awesome, most likely. So it can turn around really quickly with goggles. Another pilgrimage? Jeez, does our opponent just have nothing? They really might just have a handful of lands. Sin Prodder gives us another mountain. That is a problem with Sin Prodder. I guess we're not drawing that mountain, which is helpful, but still. Oh, did our, our opponent gave us a mountain last time? Oh, Malevolent Whispers. That's... A pretty big deal. Well, let's attack with everything. See what our opponent does. Well, hit our opponent down to 10. Malevolent Whispers gives us a good out if they play a World Breaker or something. Well, they got the mana. World Breaker, do we just win through a World Breaker? I think so. Dragon Lord of Tarka is a little worse. Chandra... All right, that's a Chandra. Probably gonna wrath our board. All right, let's. Hmm. We could save our Ravenous Bloodseeker with Uncaged Fury. Is that worth it though? Either way, we just let everything die. Gold Knight Castigator. I think we do. This feels very odd. But I think saving the Bloodseeker is actually worth it. Another land. And. Tormenting Voice, discarding a land. Blood Mad Vampire. So. Hmm. Gotta worry about Fall of the Titans. That is a problem. Especially if we cast Gold Knight Castigator here. Hmm. Oh, what do we do? We don't have a land for World Breaker. Alright, let's just discard Fiery Temper. Madness set. Kill the Chandra. Hit our opponent for three. Down to seven. 
pass the turn, and then we can play this Blood and Mad Vampire at the end of our opponent's turn, hopefully. Is it Worldbreaker? Another Chandra. And a land. Negative threes Chandra. So we can't Blood Mad Vampire now. We could Avacyn's Judgment to kill Chandra. Is that worth it? We can't quite kill our opponent with it. We're a damage short of winning with Gold Knight Castigator. All right. Discard Avacyn's Judgment. Shoot our opponent. Kill Chandra. Yep, Chandra down. Can't split it up when you're redirecting to a Planeswalker. All right, secret sideboard tech time. Is it good enough? Ooh, Fiery Temper. Golden Knight Castigator. Hits our opponent down to three. All right, opponent, this is it. You pretty much have to kill us this turn, or you die to Fiery Temper. What do you got? Magmatic Insight. I don't think Surging a Fall of the Titans is lethal, though. It can kill Gold Knight Castigator, hit us for a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, s a bunch, but it doesn't kill us. It does double, thanks to Gold Knight Castigator. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen? Fourteen's a lot. Ooh, they go with World Breaker? Alright, that does it. Fiery Temper for the win. Also, land for Malevolent Whispers for the even sweeter win. <laughs> so let's see, if we draw a land, we'll do that, because that seems sweet. But Either way, Fiery Temper got this on lock. Well, not bad. Taking down Ramp. This deck is feeling pretty good. Pretty happy with it so far. Beating the Cletus deck, that was a huge deal for this deck. Uh, no land. This has reach, right? Every big green thing has reach. So let's just, uh, Fiery Temper for the final three points of damage. And that does it! <laughs> Mono Red Madness. Very sweet.